Hello, this is a quick demo of how we're going to take out an M5 tap from an aluminium block. So we've got a test block here, uh, it's an alley block, it's got an M5 broken tap here, it's slightly protruding but this makes no difference if it was uh, inside the cavity broken, the process is exactly the same. Um, it just it's easy for me to set it up this way. Uh, so I know this cavity, this, uh, this hole is about 20 mil deep. Uh, the tap itself broke off about 15 mil into that. So what we're trying to do is we're going to erode through the core so that when we remove the electrode, we can just pick these flutes out of the threads without damaging them at all. So to select my electrode, I'm just going to look at the core size, uh, and then just literally test fit some electrodes over the top. As you can see, this 2.6 is just slightly smaller than the core diameter. Uh, and that's what I'm going to go for to start with. Uh, it gives me a good starting place. I can always go bigger if I need to. I've got some 3mm electrodes, I can always go like that. But if I really want to protect that thread, I'm going to start small and I can always erode out more. There's a few ways you could set this up. The first one would be fully submerging the part. Uh, if it's small, you can do that. Uh, it's probably best practice as uh, you're definitely going to get that dielectric to the area and it will cause the smallest amount of over sparking. Next best way would be uh, to build a dam around here with the putty that comes in the kit and then have the flow of water going into the dam and overflowing out. Um, the worst case scenario, you just have any sort of flow of water. So that's what I'm going to do today, show you the worst case. So this is if you know it's in a deep cavity, if it's somewhere that's awkward to get flushing to, uh, you know, if it's going in sideways or something like that. Uh, but uh, there's, the best practice is usually to have a flood of water around the hole. That will reduce the over sparking. So this is really the worst case scenario. The critical part with the setup of this uh, TR100 really comes down to the positioning. Uh, as you can see here, I've positioned it as close as I can to that central core. Uh, you could, if you uh, have an old mill, you could, this is on a 20 mil shank, so you could put it on there just to give you that bit of extra control while you're positioning up your electrode. We know that the hole is drilled to 20 mil. If I don't want to uh, destroy the bottom, we can be quite safe in on this nil knob here, going down, setting this to 20 because we're going to get some electrode wear. So I know for a fact that I will not hit the bottom of the hole, uh, but I know that I'll go through the tap. Now, it may be that this isn't deep enough. I may only get, say, 10 mil uh, down into the cavity, but I can assess and then go back down afterwards.